I wanted to record a quick training on how to set up OBS so that you could either um, record PowerPoint or stream PowerPoint um, as you're doing a Facebook Live or a Zoom meeting or um, something like that. <clears throat> so uh, here I have uh, a PowerPoint open and um, as you can see one of the most important things that you have to do is you have to click this option for set up slideshow and make sure that you move it from full screen to browsed by an individual window. Okay, so now um, I'm, I'm looking at it here and then what you do is you click uh, from the beginning to start the slideshow and you see how PowerPoint is now displayed in this window. Um, now you can stay in this size but what I like to do is on my Zoom meeting scenes is I like having my PowerPoint as the larger screen behind and then I put my Zoom meeting here. Now um, I'll just delete this and but when you want to add the PowerPoint back in you want to exit out of slideshow mode and then you want to go to window capture and then choose PowerPoint or type that in and then you click OK. Now you see now before you resize it you go back before you resize it you go over here to to pow, um, slideshow mode and click from the beginning now you see that the windows open then you go back to PowerPoint and then you resize it as you need to fit the window now you just have to make sure it fits in the pane and then you're going to change the order so that the layers so you can still give your PowerPoint presentation and you can stay here in this lower right hand corner or move yourself as needed depending on what's going on now if you're presenting this PowerPoint to a group what I would recommend the best way to do it would be to go back to um, full monitor mode and keep this um, keep that window open and then in your zoom meeting you're going to go to um, you're going to go to share screen mode and then everybody can still see what's going on um, here and you will still have the recording of everything so there's a couple different options but the main thing is setting up PowerPoint so that you don't forget to set up your slideshow correctly If you do that everything else will be a lot easier alright thank you uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know um, hit the thumbs up button like subscribe and share this video thank you